Hello and welcome to Fireside History. Last time we discussed how Huziwa, Huziya had fallen from uh, power and the very nature of his assassinations of, well, Amuna's sons. Now, today we're just going to lightly go over a bit of how Telpinu came to the throne and how the attempt to kill him went down. Uh, now, it is very likely that the intended victim found out somehow and then staged a counter coup, seizing the throne for himself and driving Huzia and his five brothers into exile. And now, any other man might have killed them um, in order to avoid any bloody reprisals from them. But in this case, Telepinu did not do that. Um, because civil war and coups and counter coups had been the norm amongst the Hittites for some time, for a few generations now. And Telepinu's goal was to put that to rest. Now, he did drive Huzia and his five brothers into exile. The five brothers of Huzia, that is. But, um, well, while in some ways a visionary, in other ways Telepinu was a bit of a moron and failed to take advantage of the situation to properly cement his authority and get rid of all potential rivals. Now, I'm not a bloodthirsty person, but yeah, given what it would later cost him, he totally should have put an end to all rivals and possible usurpers. But he didn't. So, yeah, he lost out there. Now, he did, uh, once he claimed the throne, try to reclaim some uh, of the other territories that had been lost. Um, and namely, most of Anatolia, with the main part that remained outside his control being the southeast, which had always been one of the more troublesome spots and one of the more newly conquered territories for the Hittite, I don't want to say empire, but I guess you could say kingdom, uh, given that they were still in a period of unrest, and almost more petty kings struggling just to reclaim uh, hegemony over all of their vassals. Which brings us to... Uh, the next uh, topic, where we're going to discuss how Telepinu's reign would end in blood, and just what his refusal to be as bloodthirsty as Huzia had would cost him. As well, frankly, that's the most interesting part of his reign. So until then, uh. Like, subscribe, and share this video.